So this is Caravan Salon in the early morning. You can hear there's a bit of racket here. This is Euromobile's Profiler T720 QF. It, it's 741 centimeters in length, 232 in width, and 288 in height. It costs 74,000 euros, and uh, it can be on three and a half tons, 4,050 kilos or 4,400 kilos. Currently on a 2.3 liter, 140 horsepower Fiat Ducato engine. And I think if somebody wants a bigger engine, they can have one. But that's going to cost more money. Right, as you can hear, there's the Hoover is on outside, and uh, I was actually in another hall. I was kicked out. I said, I need to film while it's quiet, when the Hoovers aren't on, and when there's no music on. And the security car said, There's no music and no Hoovers on at uh, 8 30. As I say, in an hour's time. Well, as you can see, he was wrong on that one. So this is part of the problem, so don't complain at the noise from the Hoovers, there's nothing I can do about it. And uh, it's better though than having uh, no, uh, no sound on at all, as it is usually the case when I have to put music on, for example. Okay, right, so we have here a uh, vehicle 7.5 metres almost, or 741 centimetres, with this queen bed and with a the queen bed will go up and down uh, should you need more s space in the garage or should you need a lower bed in here depending on what your requirements are. Now here we have a bit of storage in the steps but I've got to point one thing out about the steps here because the steps are relatively easy to get up there's a bit of space around the bed although as I stand on the first step my head is now touching the roof that is to say, if you're any taller than me, you're going to have to crouch when getting onto the first step. I'm 175 centimeters in height. System uh, for heating is Aldi, which is generally accepted as being a pretty effective system. Uh, certainly, I think it's better than using blown air heating, that's my opinion. I wanted to uh, put the uh, the light on to show you this uh, shower. Uh, I couldn't get it on. The the lights we have on here at the moment they're from external sources, and which is a pity because this shower looks really good with the light on. It's quite uh, quite magnificent. Now I would say this is one of the strong points of this van because it comes up all blue. But uh, anyway, you can't see it. Which is unfortunate. Okay, here we've got for the uh, the toilet a more sensible sliding door, and you can even uh, here this thing here comes off, and you can slide out the this door here as well if you want. Well, you should be able to. I feel it's moving. All right. Well, we'll have to uh, accept that that one should come out. Oh, it does. You have to use a bit of force. There's something blocking it below. Ah, see, it's not it's not on properly. Okay, well, there's people who come in here, such as me, and uh, start messing around with things, and this is what happens. There's, uh, I was in here last night, indeed, that, that, and there was a uh, uh, new contourer, and uh, somebody's been messing around with something near, near where the... Uh, I think it was the boiler or the water tank and uh, it, it was completely given up the ghost. Now one thing I do have to point out of course is that if you buy a motorhome you've got all these bits that can go wrong such as the door here that you've got to expect things like this uh, you're gonna have to take it back almost always motorhomes have to be taken back and uh, therefore the quality of the service that you get is really important. Now I use this thing here down here as an example. There we go. I can't push it back now. It's come out at the bottom. I'm sure Euromobile be only come off the rail. I'm sure that Euromobile be only too pleased to fix it, or maybe they wouldn't be too pleased to fix it, but they they will fix it, or their dealer will fix it. But these are the things you've got to accept as going wrong. Now. 
uh, one of my uh, viewers got something from Knaus and it took them nine months to send him something which was incorrect. So that is not good service and uh, that is something which has to be made clear. And mind you, on the other hand, I mean if you sound like you've got something like this which was broken, you know, you've got to expect a month for it to sort of turn up. So this is one of the problems with uh, buying motorhomes. And there's another problem as well, and that's the, the length of time you're going to have to wait. This business is doing really well at present. So if you order a motorhome today, you probably won't have it for next summer. And if you do have it for next summer, you're going to have to ask the question why. The place to get the motorhome from is from a dealer who buys on speculation. That is to say he will order the motorhome. Uh, he orders his motorhomes hoping he'll know what the trends will be for the next year. This is the 2020 model of this van. Uh, you might get a 2019 model, uh, but you're going to be extremely lucky to get a 2020 model. So, uh, you know, I get people complaining about the length of time it takes me to post something. Well, the fact of the matter is that often I've posted things before the, um, they are available, even though I had signed it. Uh, sorry, I had, um, uh, I had uh, filmed it, you know, six months or so earlier, sometimes even nine months earlier. Right, good. Um, this is a face-to-face -face on this, as, what, as it's called now on this um, lounge. Table's a good size and the fact that you can knock it over like that is also quite good. On, on the subject of things not working very well there's something there so clearly also that needs uh, tightening up. As far as the kitchen's concerned a very nice feature in this van is the moulded sink and the fact that you can Put this over like that. You do your washing up, and the water runs off here. Unless you're on a nasty slope, and it runs off the other way. Look, it's moulded. How often? Well, in fact, you've possibly never seen it. Uh, it's very rare. Uh, mind you, there are even there's camper vans with moulded sinks now as well. I saw them the first time this year. This thing here just pulls up. You'll have to see that that's working. <laughs> I think that's a very convenient way of doing things. Um, anything that's moving parts will break. Will that break in time? That I do not know. <laughs> Thetford standard. So I've got to say, I find that sink particularly useful. This isn't designed, I don't think, for doing kitchen work. I think it's just designed there to actually stack plates on. I think it's well, maybe. Uh, I wouldn't want to put too much force on it. Put back the decoration. And uh, next thing I'll show you. Down here. Um, very nice contour. Would point out, however, it would be better if these walls were higher. I do appreciate there's a sink down there. But the sink isn't that, as you can see, it's not that low down there. And the gas, perhaps, uh, also isn't going to get in the way. Got a bit of indirect lighting there. It really is a pity I couldn't get the lights on. Now I'll show you, show you where they are. They're up here. All right. So what you do is you press this thing here to get the light. The 12, um, 12 volts on, so that's not the problem. But uh, I can't get any more lights. I mean, it's, it's light enough. It's light enough to film, but I can't show you the shower, which is what I wanted to do. You got a 12 volt there. You got heating next to it. I think there's four plugs, might be wrong. Uh, shore power. We could uh, now have a look on the outside. I 
double floor. You see. It's not very deep though, it's not like in high or right in um, Cartago or something like that. Let's see. Still, double floor, double floor. So there we've got the automobile range for seven meters to seven 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 hundred and seventy one centimeters. There is the garage. You can see how the bed moves up and down. Lots of space in there. Some cushions have been stored in here alongside my bag. And there's a winch for the bed and I think you can get it also as an option in electric I believe Oops. here the planes going over not on the campsite that's much louder during the day here you don't hear the planes because that's so many people maybe because it's so early in the morning then you get this uh, this racket from them Ten year water ingress guarantee. Three skylights uh, opened on the roof at the present, and there's a fourth one as well up front, which isn't open. Okay, if you find that of any interest, uh, please do consider subscribing and uh, giving me some assistance on Patreon if you if you can afford it. And so that'd be very nice. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, do have a look at some of my other videos.